Okay guys, welcome back. So, we are going to be making choc chip marshmallow cookies today because I found this recipe and thought, well, I might as well do it on YouTube because that's what we're going to be doing today and I've got all this stuff ready to go. Okay, so I've got the stuff here. It says 113 grams or one stick, half a cup of unsalted butter, the Thermomix can measure that. 225 grams of plain or all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, two thirds of brown sugar, one quarter of granulated sugar, one egg, two teaspoons of vanilla, one cup of chalk chips, and one cup of nearly marshmallows. So that's pretty easy. Okay, I've cut up my butter. So next I've got to do the sugars. Okay, so here I've actually got brown sugar, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I'm just going to move some up on the right. Okay, this is stiff. I don't know how long that's been there for, but it might be enough. We'll see. Let's loosen it up a bit. I reckon there'll be enough. I only need two thirds of a cup. Okay, so I've got the marshmallows and the um, chocolate chips ready. So I'm just going to do a cup of each because that's what the rest says to do. I can put it open. Put a cup in there. Done up extremely tight and put up a tear there. Oh, there's a tear there. And I didn't see it. Yeah, all good. So, this is actually how I cook now. I get all my ingredients ready and then I can put the bowl onto the Thermomix and then we're all set. I've just checked out the recipe and it says to place the butter in a saucepan and heat swirling until the butter melts. I don't think I'm going to do that. I reckon I'm just going to mix it all together. So we'll just see how it goes. I think I've got a method for how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get everything together, take it out and then mix it by hand to add the chalk chips and to add the marshmallows so they don't like, you know, get shredded to pieces. So let's see how my method goes. I'm hoping my method will work. Uh, the sugar, we'll beat the butter first actually. Okay, that's very stiff, but I'm still just going to add I'm going to add the white sugar to it first. Mix it again. Alright, so I'm going to add the brown sugar now. Alright, so I'm going to add the brown sugar now. I'll just, that's so compact because look, look at that. Look how, I can literally hold that up. So I'm going to have to break that apart. And then put that on mix too. I'm not following the recipe, but, well, I am following the recipe. I'm not following the method in the steps, but. I'm not heating it over the saucepan, so the Thermomix will do it fine. Okay, now egg. My crap, that's so bad. Oh. Okay. Great. Right, egg in. Mix it again. And I'll add my flour. And I thought, okay, that must be mixed, but whatever. Yep, that's mixed. There's a bit of clumps of brown sugar that I have to get out of it, but that smells very rich and very, very deep. Because I mean, brown sugar's got um, molasses in it. All right, now time to add this. I'm just going to add a bit by bit by bit and just see what happens. Because as you can see, there's still massive clumps. As you can see, two there. Let's mix this. Thing. See how it turns out. Okay, so I've just got to add this in now, which is the last lot of the flour, and then I'll mix it. Okay, so this is mixing right now, and then I'll add the marshmallows and the chips. I've actually lined my trays over here, so I've got tray one and tray two. It says to bake for eight to nine minutes. I don't actually know how long they'll need, so that's why. I don't know how many trays I'll need either, but two is usually what you need for biscuits. Okay, so I've just got it out. It's real sticky. Not dough at all, so I'm going to add a lot more flour to it. So, I've got it in this bowl here. It's kind of soft, but it is also warm, so I think it'll it'll get stiffer as it cools down. I don't. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna wait for it. To, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a bit, actually, because I don't want to put the marshmallows and chocolate in it and they melt. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for a bit, and then we can deal with it. Okay, chocolate chips. I'll have this in the um, fridge for a bit. I'm just gonna mix everything up. Make sure it's all incorporated. 
maybe it's probably going to take some time. You probably don't want to watch me do it all. But this recipe was actually quite easy to follow. Just I didn't, well, I didn't follow it at all. But you know, the methods were easy. I just said to put it over the saucepan, but I wouldn't have done that. And the way I've done it, it turns out it turned out just fine. So yeah. Okay, so I'm actually having a lot of struggle. I'm trying to get the marshmallows and the chocolate mixed in. So I've decided what I'm going to do is roll out one and just pop some marshmallows with it. So for example, like this, press them in, get it flat and then press it flat with the marshmallows on it. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's just what I'm going to have to do. All right, I've got my trays. I had to get rid of some of the marshmallows because they wouldn't stick on. Look, they're literally popping out now, but they need to go in the oven for eight to nine minutes. So here they are. I've just got these first ones out. The second ones will be exactly the same. They're very gooey, like you can see here. Sort of the string. Crunchy. Chocolate's melted a bit here. Yeah, okay, I'm actually going to transfer them onto a plate right now. There's only seven on this one. The other one had nine, so I've got a total of 16. They can just sit over there. They've actually been really good to make. And as much as difficult as it was, I might actually follow the recipe. But hey, they actually turned out pretty good. And I don't reckon they would have turned out extremely different if I had it followed the recipe. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.